Hi everyone, I'm John Mirzma, and I'm a Cisco Collaborations Administrator at Sunset Learning. I want to welcome you to the demonstration, updating and verifying phone load files on Unified Communication Manager. We've got our endpoints registered. Yeah, okay, great. Our Unified Communication Manager phones are up and running, but now we've got to update the load file on our 7962. We need to go to the latest version, 9.3. But before we do, before we update and push it out to the entire enterprise, how about taking some time to actually make sure that it works? That's what we're going to demonstrate, how to update the load file, how to verify that it works, and then set it up to push that out to the entire enterprise once we know it's safe. To update your Cisco software for your phones, you're going to have to go to the Cisco software download website, and then from there, find the model phone that you want and download the load file that you're going to use in the update. Once you have the load file downloaded, put it on an FTP server. When that's done, we can start the update process. So that's all configured in our demonstration. We're going to show you how to put it on our phone, test it, and verify it. Here at the server, the first thing that we're going to do is go into Device, Device Settings, Device Defaults. We're going to find the load information, the file name that we're currently using for our particular model that we're going to update. We're going to be updating our 7962 skinny phone. So we'll scroll down, we'll find that, and we'll copy the current load file name and paste that into a notepad. We're going to need that for later. Now we're going to go into the operating system so we can tell the server to update the new file that we will have downloaded from Cisco and put in our FTP server. We'll go to Navigation, Unified OS Administration. Once we're there, signed in, we're going to go to Software Upgrades, Install, Upgrade. We can take the file that we downloaded from Cisco and you could put it on a disk. You could put it in an SFTP server, a secure FTP server, or you could just use plain old FTP. Either way, if you're going to use the FTP server option, you have to have a username and a password configured on your FTP server. The directory, we'll just use a forward slash. The server is the IP address of the FTP server that you're going to use. And then the username and password have to be configured. Once you've got that all filled out, click Next. And Unified Communication Manager will search your FTP directory. It'll find the update file the COP file that we downloaded from Cisco, which is our 7962 update file. Next. From there, Unified Communication Manager downloads it, gets the file ready, and it tells us, okay, you're all set. Next. It goes through the installation process, and this takes about three to five minutes, so we'll come back. So now it's done and complete. If we wanted to push this out to all of the phones without testing it, then we would just simply go restart the TFTP service, and this would go to all the phones. But we don't want to take that drastic step yet. We want to make sure that it works by verifying it on a single phone. So we're going to go back to the Unified CM Administration page. Go back to Device, Device Settings, Device Defaults. And we should see the new version in the load information. So let's scroll down. And we should now see a 9-4 Release 3 for the 7962 skinny phone. And we do. This is a different load name than what we had. This is our new version. So we're going to take that, put that in a text file, and then take the old version name and put it back so that it does not upgrade the system until we're ready for that. Save it. So the file's been added, but we have configured the Unified Communication Manager to still use the old file so that nothing happens until we're ready. Now we're going to go into the phone that we want to update. Device phone, find our 7962, select it, open it up, scroll down, just under the username, and we're going to paste in the updated load name. This is the load file that we want this phone to use. So by placing this value here and having the file available in the Unified Communication Manager system, when the phone restarts, this is the file that it's going to use. So it's going to upload and install our new version, our new load file, but it's only going to affect this phone. It's not going to affect any of the other phones. Save it. Click Apply. Now we'll restart the phone, and it should go through the update process. It'll update using the new load file. And then once we make sure that it works, once we can test it and make phone calls and make sure we have dial tone and everything looks good, all the features and functions that we're using, we verify that they work, then we can go ahead and make some changes and push that out to the entire enterprise.
We'll go into the switch, go into global configuration, interface FA0 slash one slash six, shut, no shut. That'll take it down, bring it back up, and then it should install the new load file. We'll verify that it's working and go from there. Well, what do you think? Did the load file take or did we, as they say, brick the phone? Well, let's find out. We'll go into device, phone, there's our 7962. We'll select it and it tells us that the active load ID is the 9-4-2 service release 3. That's the new file that we uploaded and put on. And I'll tell you, I did physically go look at the phone, picked it up, was able to get a dial tone. I pulled up the menu and I did see that that load file is what's active and installed on it. The phone seems to be fine. But how do you know that out there? Is there a way that you can physically see the load file that's on the phone? There is. Let's go back to the switch. Because the switch is a Cisco switch and the phone is a Cisco phone, they speak Cisco discovery protocol to each other. So we can go take a look with the show neighbors fast ethernet 016 detail command. And that'll show us the phone type, the IP address, but it also shows us the version, the load file that's installed. And we can see right here that it's 9-4-2 service release three. So the new load file is taken, it works. The phone seems to be fine. We can roll that out to all of our 7962s in the enterprise. So how do we do that? We've got to go back to the device defaults. Device, default settings, device defaults. And we're going to paste the new version into the 7962 skinny phone setting. We'll drop down 7962 skinny. We'll put the new version, the service release three in there, save it. And then we've got to restart the TFTP server. Now we've only got one server providing TFTP in our cluster, but in a production environment, you'd probably have a backup TFTP server. You might want to reset this. I've heard people suggest resetting the TFTP service on all of your servers. That way everything's consistent. Tools, control center, choose our publisher. That's the server that's acting as the TFTP server. Scroll down, find the TFTP service, select it, and then we're going to restart. All of the 7962s are going to be updated with that new load file. And that, as they say, is that. We downloaded the load file. We installed it on an FTP server. We pushed it out to a single phone. We verified that it worked. Now we can send that load file out to all of the phones in our enterprise. Disaster averted, phone load converted. On behalf of all of us at Sunset Learning, we want to thank you for spending your time with us. Thank you for watching. And we can't wait to see you in class.